at, uh, when I retired, which was around, f when I was 59, we came to Teaneck, New Jersey, and uh, we took tests and it showed that uh, I was having kidney problems. And my creatine was on the upper stages. So we were in New York and I went to my uh, cardiac doctor and he recommended Dr. Leonard Stern. And I went to Dr. Leonard Stern, uh, I would say about 10 years ago. And he said, let's work on it to lower it. And the way we did it, by diet, exercise, medication, and counting what you eat, especially potassium. As a cantor in a synagogue, you go to all the happy occasions and you gobble and eat. I had no, no limitations. I ate everything I wanted and I, I loved it. I, I, I enjoyed it, hot dogs, etc. But when we came for this diet, my lifestyle changed. The challenge is, is when you are invited to your friend's house and they put out all that food and you have to choose very carefully. Even salads. Rice is a good friend to the kidneys. So, and it's low in potassium. Some of the cereals are low in potassium. So my style has com completely turned around as far as food is concerned. And the way I learned was through this uh, book uh, food amounts of each bite you put in your mouth and uh, that's pretty much how I control my potassium although potassium if you have kidney problems you have also high blood pressure and most likely diabetes and so you have to be careful what to eat for blood pressure what you eat for uh, Diabetes and potassium plays a big part in this. I did, I went and did exercise, walked approximately 45 minutes to an hour every single day, lost 86 pounds in approximately, I would say a year, and try to control the blood pressure and the diabetes and the potassium has been leveled off and Dr. Stern has made sure that my medication coordinates with my body. One slice of the slim mozzarella. So this whole thing is all I need to satisfy my taste. Mozzarella is one of the cheeses that I can have, but not too much. Another potassium saver is this eggplant. I can have a whole cup of eggplant, and I probably don't use a whole cup. You may think that a whole cup is not a lot, but it's a lot. And my wonderful wife did it very thin so that I can enjoy it. I started to think, well, let's work with the ingredients that we have. One thing that he can eat is uh, olive oil, which she loves, and it gives you the idea that you're eating something that's really fattening. Cook time, three minutes and 30 seconds. Now one thing that I'm not putting in here is salt because of his high blood pressure. You can't have much of that. But after a while when you get used to eating without much salt, you don't really miss it. And then sometimes when you go out and you eat something that the rest of the world eats, it tastes horribly salty. So Leon historically is not a disciplined eater. 
He's not a disciplined exerciser. He used to eat whatever he wanted, and eating was one of our great joys. When we were first married, we would go out to a restaurant and eat all kinds of fried stuff and desserts and whatever we wanted. So um, I knew that if he was going to stick to this, I had to be disciplined as well. Otherwise, it would be too tempting for him, and it would be demoralizing for him to watch me eating all kinds of stuff. But the byproduct of it is that it's better for me too. So I also lost weight and I also am keeping more healthy. And it turns out now, it's funny because in our early years, I used to always tell him, I wasn't going to eat dessert, but you ordered dessert and then you give me half of it. And so I wind up eating dessert that I didn't want. Well, now it's the opposite. He's the role model for me. When I see how disciplined he is, it gives me courage to be disciplined also. And the way he sticks to his doctor's appointments and takes his medication and everything on a schedule, he follows it through. It's hard for me to believe. I know this man going on almost 50 years and he wasn't always like this. <laughs> but um, what I'll say is no one, if you have a, if, if the person who has the hyperkalemia is not willing to do what they have to do, there's no way that anybody else can nag them enough or make them do it. They have to be able, they have to want to do it. But the partner can either be a help or can be a hindrance. And if you love your mate, you have to make yourself be a help. Leon is the one who got me to exercise. And I remember the old days when he first got diabetes, when we were still in St. Louis and the doctor told him, you have to keep moving all the time, you have to exercise, and he never would do it. But then I see all of a sudden he started going to the gym every day, walking on the treadmill for an hour, comes home with his dripping from sweat, and, and it lowers his blood pressure. So that really gives him motivation. And a wonderful uh, trainer too. To do that, and a trainer, which I also started using the same trainer. And uh, so now we finally bought a treadmill in the basement and Leon uses it just about every day. And so do I, and it's right in front of the television and we collect all our favorite programs. So the, the changes have been much greater than what it used to be, but it has not bothered me in no way at all. I'm happy, I feel I have a good lifestyle. I still listen to my favorite singer, Mario Lanza, so I don't give up. Life is very important to us. I find it very precious, like a diamond. And I want to live as long as possible. And in order for me to do that, I have to listen to my wife, to the doctors, and people who know about how the body functions at this time of my life. Without a song that they will never